You're afraid, don't be. To reach your own paradise. Just let go. What you're imagining right now? You control this world. Hey guys, this is Jen from FromHeadToToe.com and I have a sucker punch tutorial for you today. Today I am doing the look of Amber, which is one of the girls who is in this like crew of fighting girls in this movie. And it's actually played by Jamie Chung, who's a Korean American actress, which is totally cool because I'm also Korean American and there are not a lot of Koreans or Asians in general in popular entertainment. So I thought that was really exciting and I decided to do a tutorial of her look from the movie for you guys. So it's a little bit hard edged and a little bit sweet, which I'm totally a fan of. So if you'd like to see how this look is done, then please keep watching. So to start off, I've already put Leo Ellie Dollish Vita BB Cream. This is the uh, purple one all over my face. It has pigments in it, which is kind of neat. Like, it comes out purple, but if you rub it in, it changes colors. Anyway, I put that all over my face, and I also used um, MAC Select Cover Up Concealer. Um, to cover up any other remaining spots. I'm using Urban Decay Primer Potion all over my eyes. For the color on the eyes, I'm going to start off doing this big oval shape, sort of like a color block on top of the eyelid on each side. And I'm going to use this graffiti eyeliner pen just to make an outline, and then I'm going to fill it in after that. I'm going to do a small curve on the inside of the eye, right about there. And then I'm also going to do a curve right up here. Those are just going to be my guides to help guide where the shape of the whole thing is going to be. Now I'm going to take MAC Black Track Fluid Line, it's just a gel eyeliner, and I'm going to fill in the rest of the space. So to clean up the shape, what you can do is take a cloth makeup remover or you can even take a q-tip with some makeup remover on the end and just clean up around the edges to get the right shape that you want as well as getting any extra like not perfectly clean flakes out of the way. So now I'm just going to take the eyeliner again, the um, fluid line, and I'm going to go around the rest of my eye. That same shape is going to go down onto the bottom lash line and go all the way around. And then the outer corners make it so that it looks like the line is just continuous from the top to the bottom there. Now I'm going to go over that black base with some eyeshadow. I'm using the Stila Barbie palette. I'm just using that dark charcoal color right there. It's just on this flat brush. I'm just patting it all over the lid. Now take a lighter color for the highlight of the brow bone. I'm just using this color from the Naked palette called Virgin. And also take a little bit of that and put that right here on top of the cheekbones. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes and add mascara. I'm using Fairy Drops Mascara for my upper lashes. 
and Fairy Drop Scandal Queen Mascara for my lower lashes. Now I'm going to add false lashes to my upper lash line. I'm just using these from Pretty and Cute. They're number 45, but they're long, fluttery lashes. Alright, now we're going to move on to the eyebrows. I'm using this NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. This is in taupe slash ash. And I'm going to take this wax and really wax down my eyebrows. I'm just making it so that the, the hairs are really, really flat against my skin. For the color, I'm not going to um, change the shape too dramatically, but I am going to darken it. So I'm going to actually use this lighter color here. I'm just I'm dabbing my brush into it like that. And then for the first half, I'm going to make a pretty thick straight line. And that's going to sort of go off into a wider point. I'm applying the color along the top edge only so it looks a little bit thinner. I'm just pulling the color a little bit further. Alright, so I'm going to move on to the cheeks and I'm going to use this Physician's Formula blush in Blushing Glow. It's their mineral wear blush. And for this you can use really any sort of like peachy colored blush. So start here at the back corners and tap it into the skin and then swipe it downward. Now I'm going to take a lipstick. This is the Pollen Joe Lipstick in 003 Lipstick S. And this color is sort of like a warm, warm pink with a little bit of peach to it. I'm just going to top that off with a little bit of light pink lip gloss. This is Dior Addict Ultra Gloss in 517. So this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed watching. To find out more pictures and tips and a full list of things I used in this video, please visit my blog at fromheadtotoe.com. That's F-R-M-H-E-A-D-T-O-T-O-E.com. If you like more tutorials, please subscribe up there. And if you aren't following me on Twitter already and would like to, that's twitter.com slash fromheadtotoe. This is Jen, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.